What's up guys, Mike here. I have a little tip for you. If you have a Tempur-Pedic office chair, and that's T-E-M-P-U-R-P-E-D-I-C chair, and you need replacement parts, uh, the phone number that you should be calling is Raynor Furniture. They are the group, Raynor Group companies that, uh, they're the ones that support and manufacture the Tempur-Pedic chairs. So if you call Tempur-Pedic at the 800-821-6621 number, they can't really help you. You basically have to call Raynor Furniture. Their number is 800-637-0005. Again, that's 800-637-0005. Now, the chair that I purchased, I got it from Staples. If you give them a call, they'll also tell you they can't help you either. Ask me how I know. So it took me a really long time to figure out how to do this. And I basically have this chair, and I managed to um, use the heck out of it. And so both of my arms are completely broken. The plastic piece down here broke on the right-hand side and the left-hand side where my elbow sits. Uh, my elbow has managed to break off the foam part, so it kind of hurt for a bit. This chair was not inexpensive, but it's definitely worth it because uh, of the tempur cushion material all around it. So it's worked out pretty well. No, it's not as good as a Leap chair, but when you're able to get a nice discount on it, it's a pretty decent chair. So... The warranty on these is was 10 years at the time. Uh, you'll definitely want to keep a copy of the receipt. So what happens when you contact them is they will tell you to email customer service with the following information. So I have the email address right up here on the screen. And the information that they want is they want you to uh, provide a copy of the receipt, clearly labeled and marked. And, uh, you know, the purchase date, you know, it's got to be within the past 10 years. They really didn't even say that because, you know, these chairs haven't been out that long, right? These Tempur-Pedic chairs haven't been out that long. So, and then also what's wrong with it? Now, if it is a damage that it was caused by you, they will not replace it, okay? So um, they will only replace uh, basic, um, you know, regular wear and tear or defects in the manufacturing. I didn't really have to send any proof, but you know, when I gave them a call, uh, the, the customer service person told me and asked me about it. All right, so then basically I had to describe the parts that were needed. Now, generally these pieces don't really break apart. Um, I imagine that the most used broken parts would be the arms, right? Because that's adjustable and potentially sometimes also the uh, adjustment levers down here. Luckily for me, it was just the arms. And I just sent them an email with the information describing exactly what I just told you. And I had to confirm, well, I put in an email that I said, you know, this this wear was specifically because of, uh, of through usage. Okay, it wasn't from any damage or physical damage, either from moving or, you know, rubbing against the wall or anything like that. It was purely my arm, which is the absolute truth. So it took them just about an hour or two hours to confirm, and they will be shipping it out to me. So they want the receipt, they want detailed descriptions about uh, what it is that you need replacement warranty repair for, and then uh, three, obviously your name and your address that they should be sending replacement parts to, and I put in a phone number in there anyway. Someone else mentioned that uh, on the bottom of the chair there's actually a manufacturing date, and uh, it's good to find information about that first. You'll just find it underneath the seat bottom. And you can also send that information in. But the customer service representative I talked to didn't mention I needed to do that at all. So just keep that handy. And I didn't even have to send pictures. So customer service turned out to be pretty good. I just wish I didn't wait so long to contact them because I managed to break it uh, over two years ago. All right, that's it for this quick tip video. Give a like, subscribe for more, and I'll catch you next one.